Hey guys, it's Adam. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to um, create a, a title block. Okay, more specifically, a title block template. The question I get asked quite often is how to actually create these. Um, so I'm going to show you one method of doing it. Of course, there are other methods uh, that people might have, but this is this one method I know of. Okay, so uh, to get started, I'm going to swap over to model space. And uh, I'm going to switch to my top view, so I'm going to use my view icons here. You can either use this one here, or you can use uh, this one here, whichever one you want. They both give you top view. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is switch to my BCAD workspace. Okay, And um, there is one menu that I want to bring up, and that will be my text styles. So room uh, will have text and styles. And let's just go and dock that over there. Okay, now the um, paper size I'm going to be using in this example is A4. You can use this method for other paper sizes. Uh, you can also scale up your paper sizes. So just to uh, start off, I'm going to create a rectangular shape uh, using my rectangle tool. But I first want to sort of set up a bit here. So I'm going to create a few layers. And uh, my layers are going to consist of one called frame. So let me just call this frame. I'm going to give it the color of yellow. So there we go, click OK. I'm going to create another one called frame text. I'll make this magenta. Um, so we've got frame, frame text, and I'm going to make one more called viewport. OK, and I'm going to make this one green. Right, so those are basically three different uh, um, layers you need to create. Click apply. And before I click apply, I'm just going to click on frame, set it as the current layer, and click apply. OK. So you can see it, uh, frame is our current layer. Now we're going to use the rectangle tool to draw an A4 sheet of paper. So I know that an A4 sheet landscape is 297 by 210. And there we go. Right, so here's our physical sheet of paper. Next thing I'm going to do is sort of offset it a little bit because we obviously can't fit um, exactly to the edge of, or print exactly to the edge of a um, sheet, so we want to have a little border. So I'm going to offset this by about 5 more. Enter. Choose the shape and just offset it to the center here. There we go. So after this, I'm going to go and explode. Um, that center uh, drawing there. And now I can use my offset tool to start creating a column over here that will fill, have all my drawing information in. So once again, offset, specify your distance. I'm going to say 50 mil and just pop it here. Now I'm going to have a few column, a few rows running up here with different information. So I'm going to have something like the scale of the drawing, who it was drawn by, the number of the drawing, uh, the date example, all of that. So I'm going to start off by using my line tool, just to draw a little rough guide here. And, and I'm going to just move this up by um, making sure that my auto is on, and then just typing in 10 millimeters. Okay. Oops, that was a bit much, so let's just do it again. Just say move, uh, auto is on, and 10 mil, enter, there we go. Now what I can use is I can use uh, copy, okay, I'm going to select the, that line, I'm going to make uh, four more copies of it, and the baseline I'm going to choose down here, and then just uh, make a few copies, so that I've got five rows, okay, next thing I'm going to do is just offset my line over here again, let's say by 50, uh, and what this next section will act as is just a place for some notes. So we'll say 50, select the entity that I want to offset, there we go, do that one more time. And uh, over here we can just fill this, we've got our three areas here, so we've got a couple of options. Um, you can use this as a, as a disclaimer area, um, you can have a note area, a legend area, and then your drawing, scale, date, etc. Or what you could do is you could put your logo into this area and then just have notes and legends. It's purely up to you. And whatever information you want to fill in here is up to you as well. 
Okay, so I'm going to start out by filling um, some information into these areas. So now I'm going to switch over to my frame text layer. There we go. And um, I'm going to create a new style of text for these um, areas over here. So to create a new st text style, I can click on this icon here that says text style. And I'm just going to click new. This new one I'm going to call A4 template text for example. I'm going to set my height to 2 mil. Change the typeface to something I like, like Arial. Let's go find Arial there. Uh, regular and everything is pretty much normal there. You can just apply that and click OK. Uh, we can see that my current text style is now A4 template text, the one that we just created. Now I want to start inserting my text into here. So um, I've got two options. You can use the standard one, multi-line text. Or what I'm going to be using here is single line text. Okay, because we only have a single line of information. Don't need any paragraphs, so I click on that. I choose my start point, so I'm just going to snap to this intersection point here. Um, if you look at the command bar, it'll ask you for the angle of rotation. We'll leave it at zero. And now we can type in our labels here. So here I'm going to just type in, uh, for instance, um, drawing title. Okay, let me just actually spell correctly. So we've got uh, drawing title. Okay, and uh, that's it. Next, I'm going to make a few copies of these. So I'm going to use copy again, and then just make a copy for each area. Uh, from here, I can go put something in like uh, drawn by. Uh, this one over here can be date. Uh, then we can have scale. Uh, you can have drawing number. And perhaps if you want another one, you can have uh, revision number. So there's drawing number, click OK, let's just edit the spell section up here, put the colon in, there we go. Alright, so we got those, uh, now we can just uh, move them up slightly, uh, so we can sort of center them a bit. So I'm just going to use my move option, and uh, sort of just move them up by about, say, 3 mil. There we go. Actually, we can move them up perhaps by maybe four. So let me just move them again. And uh, I'm just going to shift these over as well to get them away from that edge. And perhaps by two millimeters. There we go. That looks good. Now I'm going to make a copy of these. Um, and then just copy it to uh, the areas here. And I can call this one perhaps. Um, legend just move that more to the center and make another copy of that I'm, I'm just using the shortcut CP to make copies and I can call this notes there we go and um, <coughs> what we can do is just uh, sort of center this here and then just move it down slightly, two more. There we go. Right, I can do the same for this one. Let's just center that. And snap to the midpoint, should be somewhere over there. And then just move this down. Okay, that's better. Okay, and then here, as I said, you can put your disclaimer in. Um, if you've got that copied somewhere, you can just. Uh, copy and paste the text straight into there uh, so i'm just going to copy some text i've got now here you can use multi-line text uh, you can just drag out a text box and then go and paste all the stuff you want click ok there we go if you need to scale it down a bit just do that and also let's just make our um, typeface aerial so go let me make that one okay there we go 
and let's just move this down. Okay. Right, so that's all sorted out. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the Layout tab. Okay, see we've got our standard four interior CAD viewports. What we're going to do from here is swap over to our paper space. It's very easy to do that. You're going to click on where it says Layout, Model Space. Click on it again to change the paper space. Actually, let's just go back to there first. Maximize this layer. And you're going to swap back to paper space. Just zoom out. And I'm just going to cut and paste um, my template. So we'll just choose cut. Paste this into here. Okay, so now what I want to do is um, now that I've got my viewport there and my title block over here. I just want to um, go and put my viewport onto the viewport layer. So I click on the border, I go to my layers, go down to viewport, and there you go, you see it's turned green. Next I'm just going to grab these little um, handles and then go and snap them to my drawing. So let's just be accurate there. And that's basically all you need to do. So um, now we've got our uh, our viewport um, title block set up to A4. You can go save this as a template. So file save as, and I'll call this uh, drawing template. Let's call it A4 template save. And um, now what I can do is I can go open up one of my old uh, designs. It's a example room, and let's say I wanted to print this out at A4 with my title, my A4 title block. I could just go new layout from templates, browse to where that title block was saved, and uh, click on the tab over here, and there we go. There's our title block. Now, if we just double click to enter model space, um, our drawing will appear. Now, obviously, we need to set our um, print set, our, our drawing scale. Okay. So what we can do here is just type in Z for the zoom. Uh, at the scale, we will type in, if you want a 1 to 50, for example, you just type in 1, forward slash 50 XP, enter. And now you've got your drawing set 1 to 50 scale. To print it out, you just go to... Now with our product window open, we can go and specify all our options here. So we're going to go select our printer. Uh, we know that we're printing to A4, so we select A4. And then we just go and choose a print window. So we drag along our border we created there. Um, we can leave fit to paper selected because we've already set our zoom scale. Set it to soft, landscape, and now we can click uh, preview. If you want a tiny sort of style, you can. So we click preview, and there is our drawing onto our page to the exact scale. Uh, and there we go. Make multiple copies of um, your drawings just by selecting everything in paper space and then going cre and creating as many viewports as you want with different uh, scales for example so maybe 1 to 100 1 to 25 for example and you can keep on going and that's how to create uh, your uh, view, your the title block template. Cool, thanks for watching. I hope that it was informative and just remember to like the video or share it. Thanks a lot.